Oh, hello everyone. This is a video film study on the match between John Ruiz, the heavyweight champion for the WBA, versus Roy Jones, the undisputed light heavyweight champion. Uh, Roy moved up to heavyweight to challenge the lead for the belt. And this is the film study. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your comments below. This is the film study. So Ruiz comes out charging Roy Jones, hitting him to the body, and backs him up in the corner. Uh, he holds him in the corner not really doing anything the referee comes and breaks it up now as the referee breaks up I want you to keep your eyes on Roy Jones he walks behind the referee to stall at good time as expected Roy Jones dominates in the center of the ring but we chases him up against the ropes and starts banging him to the body kinda low so the Navy comes in and gives him a warning look at Roy in the background getting that distance though so now they're in the center of the ring, Ruiz comes in charging. Roy Jones grabs Ruiz and puts his arm on the back of Ruiz's neck. And Jay Nady comes and warns Ruiz after Roy had already escaped. And Roy Jones is one of my favorite boxers of all time. But how many times have you seen Mayweather get warned for putting his elbow or forearm on the back of somebody's neck or in somebody's throat? That wasn't right at all. That's not fair. This fight reminds me of Jay Nady protecting his kid or something like that. Like his kid has the advantage in the center of the ring. He's going to make sure that the fight takes place in the center of the ring. Then comes dad to help his son. I mean, they just locked up for a couple of seconds. This is crazy. We go to round number two, and Roy Jones starts off counting on Louise's jab over the top. This is not a good time for him. They start to scrap, they get tangled up. Oh no, my baby! Jane 80 rushes in to break them up immediately. The Mexican stands off with Roy throwing a jab. Ruiz, and they're both just sitting there faint with upper body movement. Ruiz jab, Roy jabs. Ruiz comes in and gets countered by a left hook. Roy is going to go a lead hook to gain some distance on Ruiz to get close enough to land his right cross. Need I say anything anymore? I mean, I don't know what's going on between these two after the lights go out. Boy land a nice uppercut on the inside. Of course, during a clinch, you're not supposed to throw your opponent, but I never noticed that. Noticed this as a kid, how the crowd showed its appreciation for Jay Nady. So now that it's established that the bigger man won't be able to use his weight to lean on the smaller man, Jones throws a jab followed by a lead hook that catches Ruiz off guard because he switched his head to a different position. Then the counters start to come because he's forced to fight in the middle of the ring without being able to use none of his weight advantage and he's the slower man also. So we head into round number three. And John Lee is hesitant. He's not throwing any meaningful shots. He gets Roy up on the ropes once and he bangs him to the body. Only one shot. Roy Jones is out pointing, hot shot in the Mac Will, and landing effective blows and not receiving any punishment in return. The whitewash as of now. So now we're in the fourth round, and Roy Jones is winning this match by a landslide. Uh, out of the last three rounds, he's won all three of them with 10 points. And it's just getting worse because Louise isn't doing anything truly effective. Let's see what happens in this round. 
Louise appears to be enamored by Roy Jones' jab. He keeps on checking to make sure Roy has power. He doesn't even try to really avoid it. He takes it straight on the head. Roy is becoming comfortable in there, but he still needs to be, how can I say, cautious? Because this is a big man and he still has power. But keep in mind, Roy also has power too, and he stuns him with a straight right hand, and Louise holds on for dear life. Roy won't miss an opportunity to, to showboat, so he going to showboat. In rounds five, six, and seven, Roy Jones will pretty much carry the fight against John Louise for the WBA championship belt. He would counter, he would land combinations, pot shot, play, and dance throughout these three rounds, dominating. Louise would at some points would pressure Roy Jones up against the ropes, where Roy didn't want to be, but you would get the feeling, even though he wasn't throwing shots at points when he was pressured up against the ropes. He was somewhat in control, and Louise would do too little with the opportunities that he was given, partly because of his own fault and partly because the referee would break it up. In the eighth round, John Louise, the WBA champion, would come out swinging for the fences, forcing Roy Jones to the ropes, causing Roy to cradle and shelter up and weather the attack until Louise tired out and then Roy would force him back with his own combinations. You notice how the referee when he steps in and when they clinch, immediately will break it up and then complain about Louise headbutting I guess. The hot dog and then showboating continues to the continuation of the eighth round as Roy Jones is dominant against his heavyweight foe. Louise throws more punches this round than he's thrown in the entire fight and forcing Jones up on the ropes on many occasions. Now we're going to the knife. We're going to the ninth round. The ninth round would be the weak round because Roy would start off with his spot shot and control controlling the round and then somewhere in there Louise would take control and start to pressure Jones up against the ropes. And at points Jones would become ineffective but Louise, he did the better pressuring through the round, even though Roy landed the more effective and clear punches. I'll have to give that to Louise. And we're going to march our way into the 10th round. The tenth round basically started off like the ninth round with Roy Jones controlling the action by pot shotting from the outside and Louise being able to back him on the rope and force his will upon Jones, but receiving some very powerful shots on the inside. But the difference between the ninth and tenth round is that Roy would make more of an effort to fight his way off of the ropes and to put himself back into the fight. Although Roy would do this and be more dominant in the 10th round, I would still give the round to Luis just for the amount of effort that he put in even though he wasn't really landing anything effective. His maul and style still allows him to look like using in control. Same old two step, Louise with the forward pressure, Jones with the popping hand speed, and we would basically get Roy Jones being more aggressive. Louise trying to be more aggressive, but receiving punishment in return. Roy hitting him with the pop and move situation, just basically boxing him, 
Ruiz not putting forth a lot of action. He tried to in the beginning of the round, but it wasn't enough. So Ruiz was just hit and move, hit and move. Roy even emboldened himself so much to start fighting in the center of the ring with Ruiz. Also, not so much dominating, but kind of dominating in the center of the ring on Ruiz because he would hit him and Ruiz would force him back eventually, but Roy would fight his way out of the corner and take the man in the round. We enter into the fourth and final round of the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. And right now, Roy is doing his hit and move demonstration on John Ruiz. John Ruiz is trying to pressure him, but it's too little, too late. Roy is simply waltzing his way to a WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. He's running in, he's hitting, he's moving, he's juking and jiving, body shots. It's nothing that Ruiz can do. And this fight is simply over. He's been outpointed and where he's going to take the easy victory by decision. YouTubers, if you like my content, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. That way, I keep on bringing you more content. Have a nice night.